Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. My name is Python. And meet Delphi. I decided to go ahead and tame a Dilphosaurus. Is that a Dilphosaurus? Is that, is that what it is? Oh, Dilphosaur. Yes, a female Dilphosaur. I called her Dilphi. And ordinarily, these guys are the ones that spit poison at me, right? But I decided to go ahead and try using the bowler. And uh, basically, all it does, it, like, immobilizes these guys. Then I just hit them over the head a bunch with a freaking bat. And then we were good. So, yeah, guys, we got Dilphi. Place down your comments in the comments area below as to how long this gal is going to last. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, thank you very much for your support in the last episode and indeed for the series. If you want to continue seeing more Ark Survival Evolved and you're excited for the episode, a like rating as always is the best way to let me know if you want to continue seeing more of this amazing game. But guys, look at this! We have a level 49 Parasaur. Do we dare? Guys, do we dare? That is the question. Now, if we look at ourselves currently, we are level 19. Once again, I've got a bunch of stuff going. I'm level 19. I have 55-0 engram points to spend, which we're going to do in just a bit. Or should we do that now and then do the power saw in just a bit? I'm going to say do it now. All right, so here we go. So at rank 18, I unlocked the ability to make a raptor saddle. Now, raptors are the sort of little sort of dinos that run around and try to kill me. They're not the ones with the poison. They just run around very, very fast. So as a result, I'm going to go and get myself a raptor saddle because it's something that you guys have been absolutely hammering on about. And it's uh, it's understandable. It really is. Uh, preserving bin. Uh, burn spark powder at low temperatures to dehydrate food and kill bacteria. Perhaps keep wait keeps perishables from spoiling for a small time. Okay, interesting. But look at this, guys! Dinosaur gate. Yeah, dinosaur gate. What the heck, dude? This is awesome, dude. I'd love to have this. Hell yeah! I can actually have a proper little storage area. Oh, mate, that is awesome. Right. In the meantime, I want to go ahead and check uh, check out some other stuff. Uh, bug repellent. Makes you nearly invisible to bugs, bats, and spiders. Just don't attack them or get too close and they'll ignore you. Effect lasts for 10 minutes. Now, a bug is what killed me in the last episode. So, for that specific reason, I think I'm going to go and get this. There we go. Bug repellent has been learned, guys. And I think it's made at the Pestle and Mortar. Yes, it is. Okay, fantastic. Uh, meanwhile, there was something else that was a bit further back that I wanted to get as well. I can't remember what it was, paintbrush. Because you guys were saying that we should get the spyglass so we are able to see what level people are from a much further distance. Oh, there we go. Spyglass. It only requires two aim ground points, guys. So we still have a whole bunch of points to go. Uh, let's have a look and see what else there is. So we've got the bowler. That's looking good. Carbon Emis saddle. Don't really need it because I don't really want a carbon Emis. Those weird turtle, spiky turtle dudes. Hmm. I don't know, man. I, like I say, I'm kind of I'm kind of considering the dinosaur gate and such. 20 engram points. Wait, what the hell? What's the prerequisite? Wooden door frame. Oh, dinosaur gateway? Okay, 25 engram points. There we go. And that's that's just done a whole bunch of stuff. Wooden wall, wooden door frame, dinosaur gateway, dinosaur gate. Okay, so, and then I, I assume I just use wood walls to make the actual place to do this thing. Mate, this is cool. We just unlocked a whole bunch of stuff. Can we actually make any of the things? A raptor saddle? We just need more, more fiber and then we can get a raptor. That is sick. In the meantime, uh, a little bit more wood is always good. Uh, dinosaur gateway. Yeah, things are looking good. Hey, Delphi. Uh, Delphi, you need to come with me, but... Oh, and, and she pooped. Brilliant. Okay, right. So, here's what's going to happen. Uh, enable following. You're going to come with me, but I've already put her into passive mode, so she won't destroy the targets that I'm going for. The target of which, of course, is going to be that level 49 Parasaur. If, by some miraculous thing, we we're able to tame a level 49 Parasaur, then, boys, we are going to be good to go for a long, long time. So... The question is, where the heck did this guy go? He was very, very big as well. Come on, Dilphy. You and me, buddy. You and me against... Oh, a loot beam, guys. We've got a loot beam over there. Should we go for that? Aha! I see you. Are you the level 49 or are you, like, lower? No, this is definitely the level 49. Right, Dilphy. Dilphy, me and you against the what? Do I want to go for that loot beam? Man, I'm kind of tempted, to be honest. Maybe we could come back to the power saw in just a sec. I mean, these loot beams don't last forever, do they? They are, they are time-restricted. So it would be a good idea for us if we went over and saw what it was. The only thing I'm considering 
it all. The only thing I'm considering is the idea that, uh, you know, we have to cross maybe two oceans or two rivers. And I'm not sure how, uh, how I feel about this. Oh, there we go. I'm cold, apparently, guys. Uh-oh. Come on. Quickly. Quickly. Come on. Come on. Oh, I really wish I could, like, sprint swim or just swim quicker in general. It would be amazing. There we go. All right. That's one crossed. All right, Dilfy. I may have to switch her behavior, actually. Hey. Hey. Hi, how you doing? Behavior. Uh, stance. Aggressive. Uh, neutral. Attack my target. I'm gonna say neutral. Does neutral mean that they'll attack the target who's hurting me? I hope so, because that's what I'd like to go for. Right, guys, this may be a very bad idea, but you know what? We're going for it. Oh, we could just run across! This is sick! I could literally just run across! Alright, here we go. What level? What level? Uh, we can open it! <gasps> okay. Uh, flare gun? Oh, no, it's just a bunch of replacement stuffs. That's pretty cool. Nice one. Hey, man. Hey, Delphi, I'll take that any day. <laughs> That's awesome. Hell yeah. All right, guys, let's get back to that parasaur. We'll give it a go. If we can't tame the parasaur, then I, I guess we'll have to move on to something else. But I would really like a high-level parasaur. That would be absolutely amazing, guys. It really would be. So, I mean, the grind is going to commence very shortly, guys. Delphi, come on, buddy. You seem to be lagging behind there, buddy. Come on, Delphi. Oh, look at this gal. Look at this gal. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Temporarily, I'm going to make this gal aggressive, okay? You're going to go aggressive. And anyone who tries to take me down in the water is hopefully going to get absolutely schmung dingled. That's what I'd really like to have happen. I'd really like to try and tame one of those flying uh, pterodactyls. I assume it's a pterodactyl anyway. Uh... Huh, sweet. Okay, right. And now we've got this gal. Hello. You're going to die. Come on. Oh, God. I don't think I should go for the blooming flying bird, dude. This may be a terrible idea by every stretch of the imagination. What the hell is going... Dude, stop, 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 stop. Uh, uh, neutral. Uh, uh, passive. Yes, that'll do. Right, buddy, follow me. <laughs> what the hell, bro? Oh. Right, guys, I'm going to try and spend some amount of time trying to get this power saw. Uh, and then we'll obviously do more off camera if it takes too long, which I imagine it may. But we'll see what the bowler can do first, whether it can even wrap around this guy. Let's see. Yeah! Oh my god, it worked. Okay, here we go. Get smacked! Get smacked! Get smacked! Oh my god, look at this face! I'm just. If this video gets demonetized. Then you know why. <laughs> oh my god! Holy crap, I just did it! Okay, okay. Alright, Mija berries. Let's get some Azul berries in there. These guys are, are herbivores. What are the chances? Do we reckon we could tame a level 49 dino? Okay, currently at 0%. Currently at 8%. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Taming effectiveness near 100%. That's pretty cool. I can't believe this. If I actually manage to tame this gal, uh, guy. Oh, it's a male. Okay, if I manage to tame this guy, I'm going to be so happy. And then we'll have ourselves a little army of dinos to our name, guys. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, 17%. Right, we've got to keep her unconscious. I mean, how do I do that? Do I just keep beating her? Him? I'm sorry, I, I keep misgendering this dinosaur. Oh dear. Right, well, I guess the next thing we need to think about is a name. And I guess we've got a little bit of time to think of a name because this is taking a little bit of time. So, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, we're getting super close to having this guy tame. Now 92.8%. It may even take just one more berry, guys. And I still haven't thought of a name because I'm quite frankly terrible at names. Uh, 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 parasaur? Pa para? Pa pa pe pe I don't know. Parasaur? Sauron? Sauron! That's the one! Sauron! The high level du- Sauron. Yeah! There we go! Sweet! D this guy is level 73! 73! You bloody what, mate? <laughs> Damn, son! 285 oxygen, 900 stamina, 600 health! This guy's got, like, more than five times my health. Jesus Christ. A 347 freaking carry weight, dudes. Oh, my. Oh, Jesus. It's become nighttime while I've been taming this guy. <laughs> I can't believe we got a level 
level 73 parasaur. Oh my word. Right, now, the only thing I need in order to make myself a saddle, guys, is some fibers, okay? I literally just need fibers. So I can f if I can find some things on the ground, some uh, some little greenery bits, uh, sadly, grass doesn't really count. Uh, no, nah, it's just stone, isn't it? All right, come on, Sauron and Dilphy. We're going to freaking last this episode, okay? Neither of you are going to die. If the level 73 dino dies, then I'm freaking done, you know? <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. Right, let's go find some fibers. Let's get ourselves a freaking saddle for this guy. This is incredible. I can't believe that. 73 level dino. Dude, that is just sick. <laughs> there we go, guys. The Parasaur saddle is being crafted as we speak. And this guy is super excited. Look at him, man. Look at him. Right, equip saddle to ride. All right, let's access inventory. And let's get that in there. And let's ride this poor sucker. Oh, this is so cool! <laughs> Yay! Hey, come on, Dilphy! You can catch up, buddy! You can catch up! I know you guys can run quick, because Jesus Lord, have you chased me before? Come on! I know what you're capable of. Uh, I also cannot see very much, so, yeah. Come on, buddy! Come on, Dilphy! Right, so, we've got to be able to get back over that side, and I think... We'll be able to do that momentarily. I really cannot see my screen right now. Like, there's a bunch of glare going on. <laughs> oh, no, dude. I don't even know. Is it better if I do that? No, nope, absolutely not. <laughs> right, let's try and get back to base with these guys. And I guess we... Oh, you sneaky son of a... Hey! Hang on a minute! You want to go? I can't actually see. What if I chuck this on the ground? I may endure better luck. Hello? Nope. Alright, well, I guess we're picking this up and keeping on going. I don't know what's going on. But here we go, guys. We've got to level up for our power sword going all the way up to 74, guys. 74! Let's get some movement speed on this guy. Hell yeah. And apparently I've got to level up as well. Or have I not? Huh. Oh well. No complaints. Let's go home, guys. <laughs> and here we go, guys. We're back at base. Our level 74 dino is there. Dilphy has just followed in. Hello there. How you doing? Right, uh, behavior. Disable following. There you go. Uh, can you, like, just stay in one place? Oh, you want to go under there? I mean, fair enough and stuff. <laughs> fair enough. All right. Behavior. Disable following. Uh, you can just stay there, buddy. Dude, this guy looks amazing. Look at him. Dude, he looks sick. Hell yeah. And my, my dodos are still in here. And I got a bed. And everything's looking good, guys. Heck yeah, buddy. Right. What's going on with this? Uh, yep. Still nothing happening here. What's going on here? Not fertilized anymore? Oh, dang it, right? I need to get some more poop out in which case. So, yeah, I've been going ahead and doing a little bit of planting off camera. And, well, I, I don't I don't have everything that I need. I was really wanting to try to get myself a bunch of fertilizer. But, apparently, this takes something like 50 minutes. Like, 5 zero, 50 minutes. It's crazy. It's utterly crazy. But, uh, yeah, do you know what? We're going to go inside the house here. And we're going to put this away. We're going to light the torch. There you go. And now we can see. All right, so let's go into crafting. And we're going to go and see how much stuff we can make. So dinosaur gateway. Requ 280 wood? Good lord. That's a lot of resources. I would never be able to carry all that. 280 wood? How the hell? I'd have to go ahead and upgrade my weight like a, a hell ton, man. 60 wood for a dinosaur gate. Damn, son. All right, what's in here? What's in here? 15 out of 15. Uh, I mean, I got myself a lot of stone, my friends. A lot of stone indeed, in fact. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't, like, let's see if I can't, like, quick stack a bunch of this stuff. Uh, by the looks of it, I can. But, you know, probably only a limited amount. Like, I mean, we don't need we don't need spoiled meat. You could go in the pestle and mortar. So why don't you go in there along with the Nauka berries and see if there's anything else we can make. Bug repellent requires pelt, hair, or wood. What the hell is a rock carrot? Or a citronal? I have never heard of that. Okay, that's interesting. Look at this, guys, though. We're getting ourselves a bunch of narcotics being made, which is kind of cool. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, you know, that's always nice. Uh, fertilizer. That one's fertilized. Wait, is there one that wasn't fertilized? I'm confused. Right, you go back in there. And, yeah, I mean, I, I will attempt. 
but I don't think I'll actually be able to make the dinosaur gate because we just don't have the carry weight necessary. Like, at one point, we'll just stop being able to move entirely. What if... Here's a different idea. If I make myself a large storage box... Large storage box? Where's a large storage box? Oh, there we go. Large storage box. So I need 50 wood, 35 thatch, and some fiber, and then we could probably, like, just transfer everything in there, and then we start doing the dinosaur stuffs, right? Is that a good idea? I have no idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So, fiber, thatch, and wood, okay? Remember that. Fiber, thatch, and wood. It's what we need, boys. So, here we go. Let's get some resources, eh? Alrighty, guys. The dinosaur gate is being constructed as we speak. There we go. I have placed a large storage box on top of here. And I've literally put every single thing that I own in here. So, even if we die, we're actually not that worse off. So, you know, that's kind of cool. Wow, this only weighs four? Compared to the wood, that's kind of amazing when you think about it. Well, anyways, uh, let's just remind myself. So, I need 280 wood. A lot of stone, a lot of fiber, and just a lot of everything, really. So, uh, yeah, let's grab a bunch of stones out so we actually have them on us. Uh, 80? I don't want to, like, take over a certain amount. No? Okay. Can I, like, split the stack? Split amount. 80. Boom. There we go. Right. I don't want to have anything on me that isn't necessary, okay? Because otherwise, you know, like I say, my movement is just going to be nullified entirely. So, you know. Anyways, we're going to continue on getting the resources. If we don't manage to make the dinosaur gateway, then, you know, we'll have to wait for another day, I guess, when we rank up and such. But, you know, aside from that, we'll just have to see what we can do, really. Let's get some thatch. Let's get some wood. Let's see what we can do, guys. All right, guys. So here we are. I didn't for some reason, realize when I was saying anything before, I didn't realize that I could just put stuff in the chest. So, you know, here we go. Stuff in the chest. <laughs> oh, I don't know what's wrong with me, dude. I really don't. But there we go. Let's have a bit of that. We need ourselves the thatch, fiber, and... Was that it? Dinosaur gateway. Ah, oh, stone. Okay, so let's grab out the stones, and then, guys, we actually are good to go. Uh, I... Boom. Right. And now we should be able to make it, right? Yeah! Dinosaur Gateway, guys! There it is! Oh my goodness me! Oh, it'd be so sick to be able to go ahead and uh, store things. But in the meantime, we do have a level up, and we are going to be increasing our weight as we go along. So, what have we unlocked on rank 20? Refining Forge. Requires a campfire. Uh, you put unrefined resources in this to refine them. Okay, cool. Uh, Smithy Metal Pick. Ooh! So this is basically like an anvil, right? Like an equivalent anvil? That's kind of cool. Hey, not bad, not bad. All right, let's have a look, though. Let's have a look. So we've got the dinosaur gateway. Can I, like, just... Holy crap, that is massive, dude. All right, I think this is going to be a good place as any. I mean, we've got the rock there. We've got our house there. I think it should go there. Dinosaur gateway. Oh, my God, guys, we actually did it. All right, and now let's grab out the dinosaur door. Or the dinosaur gate, shall we say. And uh, let's place that in there. And... Dude, this is epic, man! Right, now I just need to get myself a bunch of wood walls, right? Uh, let's have a look. Can I just search from now? Wood wall. Okay, wood wall requires 40 wood and a bunch of fiber and thatch. Okay, pretty simple, pretty simple. Let's get that done. Ah! Okay, guys, so I figured out how to place these walls. So I've got the gate and everything placed down. Looks amazing. But for the longest time, I just couldn't figure out how to make fences connect to this thing. But it turns out, you need to go ahead and you need to learn the fence foundation. The wooden fence foundation engram, which is what I spent my recent level up points on. So it cost a grand total of 12 engram points. And uh, yeah, it's allowed us to do many things. And all of which are actually pretty cool. Right, uh, eh. Wow, that looks good. Okay, and then we get the wall, and there we go. Yeah, that's looking good, isn't it, guys? Looking good. Right, so can I stack these on top of each other? Is that something I'm able to do? Uh, no? Am I not able to do that? I don't think I am. I think... Wait, can you... Oh, you can place them on top of each other, though, guys. How about that, eh? That's pretty cool. I don't think we're going to need, like, too many more. In fact, I think two layers is pretty much perfect, in fact. So... Uh, should we just, like, try and connect this all up together? Can I, like, get rid of these stones here real quick? Is that something I could do? No, I don't want to place fa fence foundations. Go away. Right. Yeah, there we go. I want to get rid of this stone pile, and then we should be able to continue our building, right? So, let's bring this out, 
And we want to get this thing going perfectly right. And then as we go along, we just need to make walls, right? So that's completely fine and dandy with me. So yeah, just need... I mean, we've got loads of thatch, loads of fiber. We just need the wood, guys. So let's do it, my friends. Let's get this thing built. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so I've just made the final wall for our area and it turns out a little loot beam has decided to spawn beside here So that's pretty cool. Is it not? So let's go over to it. It's a green one So we should definitely be able to go inside it. Oh wow. It's just a bunch of generic resources Not bad. I will take that <laughs> Not bad and here we are ladies and gentlemen the momentous occasion has come. Let's get this thing placed and there we go, guys. We have a dinosaur area. Eh? Is this not one of the coolest things ever? Hell yeah, dude. Well, it's the coolest thing for me because I haven't actually done it before. So here we go. Hey, Power Soul's got a level up. All right, let's do it, my friends. Uh, let's give him some more movement speed. I think movement speed is the thing I really like to try and increase with this guy. Level 75, guys. Eh? Level 75. How about that? And off we go. All right. And can I close this thing? Ha. Huh. Oh my god! Sawn is, is in his little area. Sadly, I can't ride Dilfy, but, you know, we'll, we'll let her roam around with us. Why not? But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. A success by every stretch of the imagination. Guys, if you enjoyed the episode, a like rating is by far and away the best way to let me know if you want to continue seeing more. Hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content. But guys, I'm super freaking happy. We've got Sawn, level 75 freaking Parasaur in a pen. Dude. Ah, couldn't be happier. Could not be happier, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate your continued support. And I'll see you guys later.